my dreams coming when true. Man, stay down till I came up with my niggas. Right or wrong, fair or right, you know what's up with me, nigga. Never change on my gang, yeah, I'm stuck with my niggas. When I'm touchable, come run the money up with me, nigga. When man, stay down till I came up with my niggas. Right. I'm real. I'm not wearing um old spice no more, bro. I got on old spice right now, and it it if if. if Bro, it feel horrible, dog. So I'm finna put my degree on over it. I love this damn deodorant, bro. Hey, we authentic, bro. So I ain't gotta cut nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all niggas know I gotta stay clean, bro. I'm pretty sure you clean watching this mug. And if you ain't, press pause, go take a shower, and come back. Now look. Shout out to Young and Ace. I just watched that nigga video, Betrayed. And y'all always hear me say, dude, try to talk to my sister, one of my homeboys, right? And I, I always just speak, I, I always just bring it up in the video when something like that come on. And I'm gonna do a story time on it. Y'all boys stay asking me for story time since the fake Jordans and since the stealing the way grease from the stove, which I have yet to get to 200 likes, so I ain't bringing part two, I ain't playing. Um, and I just did a DDG, got my stuff stole, right? So here come another story time, my nigga. My story times go crazy. But this one ain't nothing I could be funny in. I, I just got that natural sense of humor because y'all niggas be like, bro, you funny as hell, and I don't even be trying to be. You know what I'm saying? So it might be funny, it might not. I'm just keeping it real. Now look. <clears throat> Well, I'ma start to say, bro. In high school, bro, I was never the friendly type of dude. You know what I'm saying? If you don't come up to me, we not talking. That's how I do stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, I switched schools. I was going to uh, Side Creek High School, right? I switched to Klein Forest High School. I really didn't want to switch there in the first place. You know what I'm saying? Because we didn't heard a dude committed suicide and some old stuff there. You know what I'm saying? I didn't want to go to uh, Klein Forest. And then you know how that is. Um, Side Creek, that was my freshman school, which means all my homeboys from like middle school was there you know what i'm saying that's why all my people was so i didn't want to switch right but switching really that really was the best move because that's why i met some people that's hey I, I i couldn't relate to at side creek so i moved to kf and i met a lot of niggas that's like really from how i came up and a lot of niggas i can relate to cypress no disrespect to the cypress area of side creek bro i just felt like it was a lot of posers at the damn school and that wasn't me you know what i'm saying a lot of niggas that want to just claim they from this area and from here i came to kf and there's a lot I met a lot of people that keep it authentic I thought, but it's still something to keep it authentic. Now, look, I was going to school in my 10th grade year. You know what I'm saying? Quiet as hell, bro. I'm talking about the first two months, nigga. Hey, I ain't even going to sit in the cafeteria. When lunch came around, you would never catch me in there. I was the type of nigga all I cared about in school was dressing, bro. I swear I'd be in them. It could be 99 degrees outside. You're going to see me in some leather pants. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I was that type of dude, bro. You know what I'm saying? So I really only cared about dressing, bro. And, um... And when lunch came around, you know, that's when everybody in the mix. I couldn't show up my outfits because <sighs> I didn't know nobody. You know what I'm saying? And I wasn't finna talk to you. I don't care. Y'all probably feel like how you... My mama tell me that all the time. You must be a people's person because you get on that camera and talk to them. And, and you feel me? Show love to your people all day. Bro, when I'm in this video... When I'm in here making videos, my nigga, it is a camera sitting in front of me. Ain't nobody else in this room. This be quiet as hell. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking to a camera right now. If it was an audience, a group of y'all niggas right here, bro, which I'm talking to y'all, but if it was a group of niggas just staring at me, I'd be, I'd be in this mother like, shit, is anybody gonna speak? You feel me? Like, I, that's just me, bro. So look, I never talked to nobody. Was always low key. I was playing, I was hooping outside one day, right? And I, I was like, I used to be like a, uh, nigga, I used to like attention. You know what I'm saying? So I'm out there hooping. I lowered my goal down to about nine feet. You know what I'm saying? I'm dunking. I'm going crazy. I'm hitting 360s, all type of stuff. You ain't got to believe me. You know what I'm saying? But hey, I was doing 360s, my nigga, under my leg. I'm going crazy. You feel me? And my homeboy now, one of my bros, he was walking down the street. I ain't know him at the time. He seen me hooping. You know what I'm saying? And that nigga came over there and walked up, talked to me, blah, blah, blah. So then I made some homeboys. He ended up moving to San Antonio. He dipped out. You know what I'm saying? So 11th grade year come. Here we go. I don't know nobody. You get what I'm saying? I know niggas from 10th grade, but they not niggas that I would just call my bros that you would catch me with every day and just chilling with every day and stuff like that, nah, because that's just not me. So I met one dude, we together every day, and I forgot how we met, Um, how we started talking. I think dude said, he had to say something to me, I know that for a fact. Oh, uh, that nigga said something to me. What that nigga said, bro? It was a minute ago. He, that nigga said some somehow and he stayed in the same apartment as me, as me you know what i'm saying so we got off the bus we end up being cool we get off the bus we be taking pictures we always take a picture we get off the bus we taking pictures flicking it up here take a picture of him take a picture we take pictures together we got our money you know what i'm saying we'll pull out the money he be like you look right we take pictures you something hey 
Sometimes dude even try to ask to hold my money and take a picture. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I wasn't on that. You know what I'm saying? But hey, I ain't gonna expose nobody. I, I really don't give a damn how you feel, my nigga, because you try to talk to my sister. You know what I'm saying? So he'll try to act, hold, hold a picture to hold my money, take a picture and shit like that. So we be chilling. We had a homeboy named Roach. You know what I'm saying? That nigga got his name off a funny story, bro. I had like $5 in one day. Break bread type dude. Both of them niggas ain't had nothing on them. So I went to Wendy's, bought all of us a four piece chicken nugget. Dude in here trying to order something more than the four piece. I was like, nigga, you better be grateful you're getting some. So we at the register, I'm like, let me get a four piece. This dumb man ain't gonna ask, can I get an eight piece? Nigga, what you think your stomach built from different from all of ours? Nigga, you getting four. You know what I'm saying? So we get a, after that point, we start calling nigga Roach. Cause nigga try to reach over and grab one of my chicken nuggets, bro. And if you know me, bro, I don't eat or drink after nobody. If you touch my food, I, I'm the type of nigga at school niggas used to touch my food and be like, you want this? Touch it and shit. Like I'm gonna be like, oh no, you can have it. Nah, I don't, nah, yeah, I want it. I'm gonna throw it away. Just cause you touched it, don't mean you finna get it, nigga. It's going in the trash. You know what I'm saying? So that's the type of dude I was. So bro touched my chicken nugget and he thought he was finna get it. He was like, you, you want this chicken nugget? I was like, yeah, I want it, bro. I launched the hell out the damn chicken nugget. You ain't getting it, nigga, just cause you touched it. You know what I'm saying? And from that day forward, his name was Roach. So we got a homeboy named Roach. Every day we got off the bus, the office used to have some snacks. Donuts and cakes and chips and stuff all in the office and uh, they offices was on this side like in the back When you first walk in make a right there's the kitchen You know what I'm saying? So we used to go in there every day after we got the bus Roach will go in there and steal the donuts and he'll come run out and we'll just go post up on somebody trunk And they cars to be eating donuts talking and chilling. You know what I'm saying? Just just vibing. You know what I'm saying? So During this time I'm like oh yeah this is my bro. Me and this nigga got so close that when he not at school Niggas will come up to me and be like bro what's up? Well, um, what's the name at? I be like, I don't know the nigga, I ain't seen him at the bus stop today. When I ain't school, they'll come up to him and be like, bro, what's up? Well, what's her name at? And he'll probably be like, I don't know, he ain't come to school today. You know what I'm saying? So, my job, I don't smoke. These, every nigga around me smoke, bro. I don't know how, I, I haven't picked it up yet. But I don't smoke, bro. It's just, I just don't, I'm just, I, I, I don't know, bro. I just don't rock with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't, I'm, I don't cover the smell. Niggas feel like the stankier, the better. That's not me, bro. I don't rock with it. So, look. They, in the morning, it ain't really skipping because it's in the morning where they drop you off and you go do your own thing. So in the morning, they dropped us off on the bus. They went over there and smoke and I'm just chilling with them. They like, they like bro, why, why you even come if you don't smoke, bro? I'm like, my nigga, cause I don't talk to nobody, bro. So what you want me sitting there while you wait and y'all just smoking? I'm just sitting here like this. And, you know what I'm saying? So nah, I wait. I come back with them. The, the point is me and dude real, real close. This is my bro. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this my homeboy. Everywhere he go, I go. Everywhere I go, he go. You know what I'm saying? He talked to a female. I'm talking about these days, dude sitting on the stairs telling me, oh, bro, she just texted me this. I'm, what should I say? I'm like, bro, just tell us, blah, 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 such, such, such. We chopping it up. I'm looking at the kick. This was kick. I'm looking at the kick, texting. We talking to old girl. I'm telling him what to say, blah, blah, blah. We just chopping it up every day, nigga. It wasn't a day we didn't come outside. Yeah, I'm talking about every day after the bus. You finna come outside? I'm bet I'm finna be back out here. Go in the house, drop your stuff off, back out the door. You know what I'm saying? So, and I've been trying to do this music stuff, bro. Since day one, like I've been been on the music stuff. So I went to KF, they gave us school laptops, right? And uh, that's actually the laptop I be recording my videos on. We was, um, it was a way you could record. I found out a way you could record on the laptop. So I started making music on our school laptops, right? Like that's how, I'm telling you, I've been wanting this bad, bro. We've been making music on the school laptop. So we'll go sit at the pool and we'll record on the laptop. We'll skip in the hallway, go in the back and record on the laptop. We'll just be recording on the laptop for 24-7, mind you. This my bro, you know what I'm saying? We together 24 seven, so I ain't scared to share my secrets with this nigga. I didn't want everybody to know how I record music. Now the whole damn school gonna be trying to make music. You know what I'm saying? So we recording on the laptop, we doing our thing, and um, we just finna put out a song. We just chilling. You know what I'm saying? I, we showing everybody the song. Everybody, like, oh yeah, this go crazy. This my nigga. He telling me, bro, I was just listening to your song last night. I'm like, this my bro. So he come to my house, knock on my door one day, asking me to come outside. I come outside. My mom when I got in the crib, my mom was like. <clears throat> Don't be telling everybody, don't be letting everybody know when you're not gonna be at home and when you're gonna be gone. Cause this is my bro. So I'm telling him, you coming outside today? I'm like, nah, my nigga, I gotta go somewhere. So now he know my house gonna be empty. You know what I'm saying? My mom was like, don't do that. And I I understand what she's saying. I'm like, okay, yeah. But I and then I told him, I'm like, nah, he a real one. He ain't gonna do nothing like that. That nigga real, bro. He one of the realest, like one of the realest dudes I ever met. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling her that. And my mama, she ain't trying to hear none of that. She like, yeah, he cool, he, he cool people, but don't get that close. Don't trust people like that. You know what I'm saying? Me, I grew up with our sisters. So I got a homeboy, I feel like this my brother. I feel like this my nigga, like, oh yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying, we like, hey, you can know everything, my nigga, my shoe size 11. You know what I'm saying, like, that's how I felt. So I told her that, 
months, I'm talking about days go by, we just be chilling, bro. Like, I can't explain to y'all. We'll go to the store, nigga go in there and be trying to steal a bunch of snacks. We go sit at McDonald's, not me. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all, there's so many damn story times about taking stuff. Y'all boys already know how they went, bro. I used to be the goddamn, I don't know, I coming in like a rat trying to leave with stuff. Now, look, we sitting at McDonald's, we splitting chips and eating snacks and stuff during the summer. We just with each other every day. Hey, that nigga with me, he was like, bro, you trying to start a gang? And then I was like, what's up? Like, we can start our own little gang. It's just us two. And he's like, bro, we can take over the whole school. We start our own little gang. This is how close we was. I'm like, yeah, let's do it, nigga. What we, what we, what we going to call ourselves? You know what I'm saying? So we ain't never come over the gang. We were just with each other every day. You know what I'm saying? So tell me why I start feeling, right? Because like I told you, I really only came to school to dress, bro. Like, period. You know what I'm saying? So I start feeling. And I had to, I start missing a lot of days. And I had to go make up. Like, I had to go to a school where you got to make up credits. You know what I'm saying? It was like a school where you got to catch up and they work faster. So I go to that school. While I'm gone, my bro at the other school. And I, oh, it's a funny story, bro. My bro at the other school. KO, right? I'm gone. I got a sister, bro. My sister younger than me. She two years younger than me. You know what I'm saying? She still go there, right? This was 11th grade. I thought it was, yeah, this was 11th grade because she was a she was a freshman. So I go into the school and tell me why dude tried to holler at my sister, right? Don't worry about how I found out, but I found out days after it happened. Nobody let me know the day it happened. You know what I'm saying? So at this point, I'm kind of questioning my sister loyalty and I'm questioning this nigga because I don't care who you is, bro. If one of my bros hit you up, I, could, I don't care if them niggas asking what color your shoelace is. I need to know about it, nigga. Because these niggas is horny these days, bro. And I don't care what they ask about. And if I got a cousin, I got some cousins I grew up with, like females. They got a YouTube channel, bro. If y'all want to go watch them, go check them out. They channel D and Trill. You know what I'm saying? They're my blood cousins. Like I grew up with them in my granny house, all that. Them, they're my blood cousins, bro. You can ask them. I, they years older than me. We at the basketball court. People looking at them, I'm standing in front of their butt. Like, I'm like, bro, stop looking at my cousin. You know what I'm saying? I'm one of them people when it comes to females in my family. You know what I'm saying? So, and they'll tell me. They'll, they'll tell me if the niggas try to talk to them. You know what I'm saying? So, at this point, I'm questioning my sister. I'm like, bro, I find out, right? He texted her and he was like, hey, what's up? What's up with, what's up with this? You trying to let me do this? Y'all know what I'm talking about. You trying to let me, you know what I'm saying? And she was like, because I be with this nigga every day. She like, do you know who this is? And that nigga said, yeah. You, sister, I ain't trying to say my real name, but he was like, yeah, you Supreme Caddy sister, right? And I don't know what's, what was said after that. I'm pretty sure she said, no, I'm good or something like that. And then he was like, all right, don't tell what's the name, though. Me. Don't tell Jay. They call me Jay, so I'm saying that. Don't tell Jay. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at, um, when they tell me that, I'm like, okay. At this point, you got to see me, dude. We got to fight. You know what I'm saying? And I'm a cool person, bro. I don't go around trying to be hard. I don't go around trying to fight people. But it's like, when you disrespect me like that, bro, at this point, I'm, I feel disrespected, nigga. I ain't gonna say I'm hurt, but I'm kind of hurt. Like, I thought you was my bro. You know what I'm saying? Now you gotta box me, dude. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to fight. I, I want to fight this nigga, right? But he went to jail because some, some little charge he had. You know what I'm saying? So I'm at the other school. That nigga come to that school with me because he started feeling they had to catch up. That nigga been feeling. So he come to that school with me, right? Bro, smiling in my face every day. Think I don't know. And guess what type of nigga I am? I'm, I'm, a, I'm in bro face like. Already, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just reading through this nigga. You gonna say, hey, you wanna play ground me? We gonna play ground me, bro. You know what I'm saying? So you wanna go behind my back and talk to my sister? And then come to my face and smile at me. I'm to my every day. And I know. I, I can hold stuff in. I know. Nigga sitting in front of me talking like, oh, bro, this happened, this happened. I'm like. I'm just smiling at this nigga. Just little new. You know, in the back of my head, I'm thinking, nigga, you better not be in the hallway by yourself. God, boy, I tell you, I'm a crack your chin. Nigga, small is short. I'm, I'm, I'm like 6'2". Nigga, probably like 5'6". I'm talking about all about though. Boy, nigga, guns was going to be at the bottom of his chin. I, I ain't even going to lie to you. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm just, I'm just, why a dude smiling in my face? I told myself I wasn't going to talk to the nigga when I came to school. I was avoiding him. But that was too much tension. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was showing too much tension. Like, nah, I don't want him to, I don't want to tell him that I know yet. I want to just see how this nigga going to. I want to see how dude going to maneuver. You know what I'm saying? So I know. I'm just looking at this nigga like. So that's what type of nigga you is. You the type of nigga to smile in my face. Why I know what you doing behind closed doors. You going to smile in my face. You ain't going to tell me nothing. And that's just crazy. From that point on, bro, my trust level with niggas was on zero, bro. Dude smiling in my face every day, bro. Trying to take pictures with me. Trying to come over. Trying to ride home with me. Because that school, we didn't have buses. It was a catch-up school. So you got to get there, man. If you don't get there, you ain't getting your credits, bro. So... 
I'm just looking at dude smile in my face and just, you know what I'm saying? Just be fake with me. And I'm just looking at nigga like, so this what type of nigga you was all along. I'm in here telling my mama. And I ain't never told my mama that about no nigga. On, bro, on me, I ain't never came in and told my mama he a real nigga, he a real person. Never. That was the first nigga. And I see from that point on, trust nobody, bro. Period, nigga. You ain't getting no type of trust from me, dude. And then when I find out something about you, I'm going to just sit back and hold it in. And I'm going to play just like you. I'm going to be like, which is why when young boy came out and he was like, remember, and then you slipped around and he had to my sister. You know what I'm saying? I feel, I, bro, the poor one, I feel that song more than anybody, bro. I promise you. Because I know how that nigga feel. If I blow and this nigga was with me and he feel like you blow and left me, nigga, you damn sure right. Nigga, you still in the, hey, catch up, bro. Catch up. I'm gone. I'm gone. You know what I'm saying? Have fun doing what you're doing. I'm gone, little dude. And I don't care how you feel about it. So I felt young boy on that. You know what I'm saying? You should never talk to my sister, bro. That's the worst thing you could ever do is talk to a dude's sister, bro. Period. Unless it's a situation like paid in full. Well, he allowing you to talk to his sister and, and, and you wasn't cool before he started talking to your sister. You came cool afterwards. You know what I'm saying? Paid in full. That's a different situation. Niggas can talk to your sister. I got a homeboy that checked in with me, bro. He, I'm not God. I'm not, her, I'm not her pops or nothing, bro. But I'm her brother, my nigga. That's respect. You know what I'm saying? So, if we cool, I feel like you should come check in with me to talk to my sister, bro. Period. You know what I'm saying? One of my homeboys, I'm going to say dude name. What's that nigga name? Uh, What's bro name? Oh, what's bro name? Uh, Kelvin. My little nigga Kelvin, he go to Kelvin. I come out to school. My sister was scared to tell me. I don't know why she's scared to tell me because she already know me, bro. She already know how I am, bro. You know what I'm saying? So, at school... I always come out to school for the thoughts. I was at school every day looking for thoughts. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even go there no more. I'm out there looking for thoughts. So I was there, and I see my sister talking to bro. She tried to hide, right? Bro come up to me. He like, bro, you know I talk to your sister? I'm like, nah. He's like, she ain't tell you? I'm like, nah, bro. He's like, bro, I told her to tell you. And I was like, she ain't tell me nothing. And he was like, is it cool if I talk to your sister? Do you, bro. You can talk to my sister. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, my nigga. He did it right. Now I know his intentions. Because if you sneaking around, I know you bro, I'm a dude, bro. I'm a, I'm a whole meal, bro. I know I know what you got going on, bro. You get what I'm saying? I know what's behind your belt buckle, my nigga. You get what I'm saying? I know how you feel when your hormones going crazy. I'm a boy. I'm a dude. I know. You just horny. You get what I'm saying? So that's all you trying to get from my sister. You get what I'm saying? That's why it's not good to talk to girls with boy with brothers like this. Because, hey, it ain't happening with me, dude. It ain't happening. I read through you little facts. You get what I'm saying? Like, I know what's up with you. You get what I'm saying? So when bro told me that, hey, you, you green. And from, and from that day forward, I had the utmost respect for bro. They don't even talk right now. I let them do their own thing. They broke up or whatever they doing. They stopped talking. They're still my dude. They're still my bro. When I see him, I'm going to shake him up like he ain't never talked to my sister. They're still my bro because the way he did it. But the nigga that didn't, the, the dude that tried to talk to him behind your back, bro, you got another thing coming. You know what I'm saying? And it's a couple of y'all. And I know some of y'all watch my videos. It's a couple of you. I didn't been in your face. I didn't been with you. We didn't talk to and I know you tried to talk to my sister. I know. It's just sitting right back here. In the back of my head. I'm just sitting at you. I'm just looking at you like, okay. This type of nigga you is, I'm just looking at you like, okay. And don't think you ain't going to get punished. I can't really just do nothing because you ain't do nothing too disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? I can't control that you try to talk to my sister. Hey, she a female. She cute. You going to try to talk to her. I feel you. You know what I'm saying? But in the back of my head, just know you been... And if you come the wrong way, you're going to get punished. For real. You know what I'm saying? So, I can't do nothing because a nigga try to talk to my sister. You know what I'm saying? But just know it's sitting right here. And I'll read through you when you're in my face. Like, I'll be like, dumb fuck. I wish I could just smack this nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's how I be thinking. But other than that, bro, I just wanted to break it down. This story time, a couple of y'all probably live. If you stuck to the end, if you stay here to the end, comment loyalty before royalty. I want to know how many of y'all stuck to the end of the video. So if you made it to the end of the video, comment loyal, loyalty before royalty. Put your Instagram name, and I'm going to come follow you. I'm going to come show you some love. I'm going to come spam a couple of your pictures just because you kept it authentic with me, bro. You know what I'm saying? So comment loyalty before royalty because this was a long video, and my only my core supporters finished this video. A couple of niggas probably got another nigga notification and burnt out. So if you stay here, comment loyalty before royalty, and you never know. I might do a quick little giveaway or something. I'm going to come follow you, show some likes, show you some love. You know what I'm saying? 
I promise you, I'm going to post it when I do it. Hit me on my social media. I'll link in the description down below. I just wanted to do a story time on that because I'm always bringing it up in reactions. And y'all probably like, what happened? You know what I'm saying? So there you go. I got another story time coming like further on down the line. Y'all always hear me talk about my bro Kijik and my song. Rest in peace to my bro Kijik. I'll tell you about how bro died and how we met and stuff like that. And y'all want to know what Katie mean. A lot of people call me Katie. You can call me Katie. I honestly thought people was going to call me Supreme. You know what I'm saying? I rock on niggas when they, people call me Supreme because that's my name. But you're going to call me Katie too, whichever one sound better. You know what I'm saying? Katie is not my real name. That's my, it, it stands for keep all 10 in. Like keep all 10 toes in. It's keep all 10 in. Like that's what Katie stands for. You know what I'm saying? So when people call me that, I be cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? It sounds like a female name, but it got a meaning behind it. My nigga like, I don't give a damn if it sound like a female on the name or not. We got a nigga in the industry named Little Baby. You know what I'm saying? Little Baby. And niggas rocking with him heavy. That's one of my favorite artists. So, I don't, give, I don't care what it sound like, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, as long as it's a solid dude rocking the name, it really don't matter. But anyways, man, if you rock with this story time, let me know I'll bring y'all boys some more, bro. I got to bring y'all some more videos. So, in order they got to start the video. Get this to... If y'all... I'm going to say this. If you get this to 500 likes... I'll do another story time tomorrow. And it'll go crazy, man. I to bring out with some more videos, so another guy stop the video, just get it, man. Nick, know the 50,000 on my wrist. Every nigga with me, real rich. Niggas having pressure by the bitch. I got all my cases dismissed. I don't go back and forth on the internet. Real niggas don't get into that. I'm trying to get in on my for real.